Okay. Let's see. Okay. I think we're here. One, four, five. All right, all right, let's go. T squared over T squared uh, determine the velocity of the heron when it has traveled three seconds. Okay. Right, there we go. That's the velocity of the heron. Um, a heron swimming along a straight line. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. The population in millions of Arctic flounder in the Atlantic Ocean is modeled by this function. Okay, let's have a look at that. 8t plus 3. 8 t plus 3, 0 0.2 t squared, okay, uh, determine the initial population, okay, 3, uh, and then determine the rate of change after 10, so it's 3 million firstly, and then the derivative here, okay, negative number so the interpretation is that the population is declining at a rate of 0.37 million per year okay 147 eq plus 50 Okay, so 2t squared plus t, okay. It's a concentration of an antibiotic, t hours after being injected, and it's milligrams per liter of blood. Calculate the rate of change, no problem. There it is there. Determine the rate of change at 8, 12, 24, and 36. Okay, 8. Uh, 12, 24, and 36. So they're all negative. So that means um, the concentration is declining it's it's leaving the body um and uh let's see now um it's interesting because the second value is smaller than the first the third is smaller than this one yeah so it's leaving the body and the rate at which it's leaving the body is declining so the second derivative would be negative, I, I think. Um, so yeah, it's leaving the body at a rate of 0 0.01 milligrams per liter of blood per hour, for example, at, at this point in time. And that rate itself is declining as well. 
Okay. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a typo, um, if this is supposed to be a T as well, because it's in the middle of all these T questions. And it seems a bit weird for it to just suddenly not be a T question. Um, but it's not marked, so we'll do it manually. Okay. Okay. Book publisher has a cost function given by that where X is the number of copies of a book in thousands and C is the cost per book. Calculate the derivative here. Well, I'm going to simplify this. X cubed over X squared is X. 2X over X squared is 2 over X plus 3 over X squared. And the derivative would be 1 minus 2 over x squared and minus 6 over x cubed and so the derivative at 2 will be 1 minus 2 over 4 minus 6 over 8 which would be 1 minus a half minus 3 quarters which would be 1 minus 2 quarters minus 3 quarters which would be 4 quarters minus 5 quarters which is minus a quarter um, so it would be that the cost per book uh, the cost per book is falling at a rate uh, of 25 cent per book at the point of production of 2,000 books. In economics, I think you call that the marginal cost. The marginal cost is falling by 25 cent per book beyond 2,000 books. Sadly, it's an even one, so there's no answer at the back, but uh, I think that's, that's right. All right, and then lastly now, According to Newton's law of universal gravitation, the force F between two bodies is given by that formula. Suppose that G, M1, M2 are constants. Find the rate uh, of change of force F with respect to distance. Okay, let me just um, um, just make it case sensitive for the moment. Okay, so we have F is g m1 m2 oh i don't know if i can do subscripts v squared no i don't think i can what if i do an underscore um, okay i might have to use something like small m big m that's the other style of writing this formula yeah okay that'll have to do right and we want um find the rate of of change of force with respect to distance of key turkey. Okay. And find the rate of change of force with respect to find the rate of change of force F with gravitational constant on two bodies ten meters apart each one. Okay, so let's sub it in. So the G is uh, six point six seven times 10 to the power of minus 11. Yep, I got that right. And then they're 10 meters apart in each 1,000 kilograms.
Yeah. Yeah, and then the unit would be um, newtons per meter. Let's check our answers. Go from 149, is it? Minus 1.33. Yep. And then uh, four numbers here. Yep, that looks right. Yep, okay. And then 145. Do we have 145 today? Um, 0, 0. 0.0. Yeah, there it is. Uh, a feet. Oh, a feet per second. I think I might have said meters per second by mistake. 0 0.0992. Yeah, round it off. Um, and then that that's it. That is it. Success. We have completed another exercise. Nice. And next time, kind of more mechanical problems, distance, speed, time, rates of change, acceleration, velocity, growth. Looks like a big exercise. Okay, good, good. That's great. That's great. Let's wrap it up for today there. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll leave it there today. And I shall see you all next time.